Hey freaks, it's JJ. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking more about Coheed and Cambria, since I know a lot of you guys are a bunch of children among the fence, and you guys really enjoy my Coheed content. Um, I thought I'd do a video today covering the two most asked questions that I get from you guys. And those two questions are, one, what order do I read the Amory Wars comics in, and two, where do I get them? So, uh, answers to those two questions are coming up. I figured I'd just do a video on it since I get asked them most frequently. So, here we go. Okay, before we get started with this content, um, you guys may have noticed I got a new tattoo. So, um, this is my Burning Angel Wing tattoo that I've been wanting for upwards of uh, six, seven years now. So I'm really excited about it. It's not quite quite finished yet. Um, I am going to be adding some more flames to make it really um, flamey. Anyway, if you guys wanted to learn more about this tattoo and what it means to me as well as all of my other various tattoos that I have, um, I'm going to be doing a bonus video on my Metalhead community. Um, so if you guys want to find out what all tattoos I have, see them, and have me explain what their meaning, um, then go down to the description down below and subscribe to my Metalhead community. Um, it's really just a mailing list and then I have a private uh, little um, playlist on there where I post videos for this smaller community. It's mostly just more like personal stuff and like, I don't know, just bonus content type stuff. So on my next newsletter I'll be posting a bonus video just talking about me and my tattoos. Okay, so um, basically I'm going to answer these two questions kind of simultaneously. So uh, starting off, like what order do you read the Amory Wars comics in? Um, and there's kind of two ways that you can do it. So first of all, you can read them in the order that they were released. Um, so that would start with Second Stage Turbine Blade and then end with the prequels. Um, or you can read them chronologically. So um, I'm going to go first with the order that they were released and just kind of tell you what that order is and then we'll end with the prequels. And then I'll tell you kind of conversely the chronological way that you could read them. So, um, in the order that they were released, which I think is usually the order that most people read them in, um, you'll start off with Second Stage Turbine Blade. Um, this is uh, the ultimate edition, just one big fat book has all the comics uh, for this volume in it. Um, I will put a link in the description where you could get this on Amazon. Um, for full transparency, some of these links are probably going to be affiliate links, maybe if I can get my affiliate link thing working. Um, anyway, so I might possibly get a small percentage if you buy it from the link, um, if I get that working. If not, I don't know. Anyway, it's available on Amazon, link in the description. Um, and this is just kind of like where everything kind of starts. Um, and it does feel a little bit like you are just kind of thrown into the world. So if you're not very familiar with reading comics, which I hadn't really read hardly any comics when I first started, um, reading these, it might be a little bit, uh, difficult in that there is a lot to learn about the world of Heaven's Fence. And so you're kind of really just uh, kind of thrown in there with this book. It does give you, it does explain the world to you a little bit, but it, you're really just thrown into the action. So if you're maybe not quite used to reading comic books, maybe you should start my secondary way, which is chronologically, which I'll go over in a sec. Um, but if you are a, a comic book reader and you are, you know, used to this medium of storytelling, um, you can definitely start here with um, the first book. Uh, anyway, the second book is In Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth 3. Um, again, another Ultimate Edition that is available on Amazon, link in the description. And this one just continues right where the first one left off. Okay, and then the third volume, uh, Good Apollo on Burning Star 4, is you, you got a couple of different options. So you have the uh, first option, which is the one that came out with the album, um, which is illustrated by Christopher Shy beautiful artwork. I really suggest picking this one up, but as far as like learning the story behind the album, it's it's not a whole lot. It's very short, um, and there's not a whole, I mean, there is the story there, but it's kind of like the abridged version of the story. So then a few years later, um, Claudio and Chandra redid that volume into like a whole 12 series comic um, volume of Good Paul and Burning Star 4. So this really goes into the whole like detail storyline, and they changed a couple things here and there. So. Um, this is also available, I believe, in an Ultimate Edition. I just don't have it. Uh, link in the description for the Ultimate Edition. Um, anyway, yeah, these have more storyline. Uh, the artwork is also beautiful, but I just, I don't know, I'm really attached to, to this one. Um, so you can get both, or you can just get one or the other. I think storyline-wise, if you only get one, it's probably better to get um, the uh, Ultimate Edition of all the comics, and it will probably be a lot cheaper as well. This one is kind of... Um, 
limited edition and so you can find it uh, I found it somewhere I'll put a link in the description but um, I think I found a used copy for like $80 so that's it for the main storyline uh, no world for tomorrow which is the fourth installment of that story and the finale of the story they have not yet published the comics for that story or for that album yet uh, they are working on it I think last I heard they said they were six issues in uh, so they're about halfway through it, but I've also heard that they have not made much progress on it from uh, since then. So it might be a little while before we get those comics, but uh, they are coming. So there are no comics available at the moment for No World for Tomorrow. Um, and then, so the next installment of the story is going to be Year of the Black Rainbow. Um, I only have the Kindle edition because this book is very hard to find. Uh, again, it was limited edition, only released with the box set when the album was uh, first released. Um, and so it's available on Kindle, link in the description. It's pretty cheap on Kindle and it's pretty fine to read on there, um, which is what I did. If you want a hard copy of the book, I think it's going to be really expensive, um, upwards of $200 for a hard copy of uh, Year of the Black Rainbow. Um, and just a side note, like be very careful when you're looking for these limited edition type books. Um, if you find a limited edition like, like this, or like Good Apollo Burning Star 4, or like Afterman that I'm talking about, um, if you find it for like $20, it's not going to be real. It's going to be probably a book on how to play the, the songs on guitar, which I have accidentally bought at one point. <laughs> Long time ago, I accidentally bought a book on the like, guitar, like, I don't play guitar, so it's totally useless, useless to me. Um, but if you're like, oh my gosh, look, this, this book on Year of the Black Rainbow is like $19.99 on Amazon, it's, it's going to be the book on the guitar notes, which I guess if you're a guitarist and you want to learn how to play the songs and you can read music, then that would be helpful for you. But for the rest of us who just want the story, then not going to be helpful. Um, so yeah, the cheapest I think I've ever found uh, Year of the Black Rainbow being is about $200. I'll put a link in the description if I happen to find it on eBay or wherever. Um, but yeah, they can definitely go up to like three, four hundred dollars for a hard copy. So I would just suggest getting the, the Kindle edition unless you're like a big collector, which I may or may not drop that amount of money at some point in my life just to have it because I want it. So that book is a prequel um, and it takes place before the, the main series. And then they came out with a prequel to the prequel. So Afterman is like way, way before even Year of the Black Rainbow. Um, Afterman is the prequel to the prequel. So um, this one I don't even have myself, I'm just holding the albums because I wanted something to hold. So this was only available in a uh, coffee table book version that was sold with the limited edition release of the album, which I do not have. Um, I think online I found used copies for somewhere around $80, um, so I'll put a link down there um, if you guys want to find check that out um also note like these links that i'm putting for these like limited edition like used things are probably gonna not work in, in a little while once people buy them so um if you're watching this in the future those links may not work for you um and you'll probably just have to do a google search um and then the final installation in the amory wars universe is oh, sorry way over here um Vaxit. So this is the coffee table book that was sold with the uh, release of the album. Uh, I will look somewhere online and try and put a link there if I'm able to find it. Um, yeah, this is one that's probably going to be hard to find. Um, and since it's it's their newest release, it might not be as hard to find as the other ones, but it's still probably going to be pretty expensive um, if you're looking to, to buy this book. So this uh, Vaxis storyline is like a completely separate from from the regular Amory Wars comics. Um, it's just, uh, it takes place in the same universe, so it's still in Heaven's Fence, uh, but it is just like a whole different uh, set of characters, whole different storyline. So I believe it takes place after the events of the Amory Wars, um, but that's kind of still up for debate, I guess. Um, anyway, that is the order that you can read them in, um, in the order in which they were released. So. Uh, the other way to do it is to read it chronologically, so it's kind of like like Star Wars. Like, are you gonna read? Are you going to watch the original movies first and then watch the prequels, or are you gonna watch the prequels first and then watch the the originals? So it's, it just depends on how you want to experience it. If you want to experience it chronologically, you would first start with Afterman, um, somehow getting a hold of the coffee table book, or um, there is a 
Koei and Kimberly are like wiki uh, website that pretty much just lays out the whole story. Um, I'll link that as well. Or if you are a fan of me and my channel, um, I did a video covering the storyline, which I will link somewhere here. Um, yeah, so that's the option if you don't want to spend a lot of money trying to track down the coffee table book. And then you would go into reading Ear of the Black Rainbow, which is like the origin stories for um, the characters of Coheed and Cambria. So from there, you would start with book one, um, Second Stage Turbine Blades. And then after that, you would go and Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth 3. And then you would do your Good Apollo on Burning Star 4. Um, after this, you would go into uh, No World for Tomorrow, which if you're reading this in the future and those comics have been released, that's what you would read next. And then from there, once you finish the Amory Wars um, series and you wanted to get into like the, the new uh, pentology, uh, then you would go into Vaxis Part 1, The Unheavenly Creatures. Okay, uh, quick side note. Um, another thing that is kind of confusing about ordering these comic books is that sometimes you will find something like this and something like this. So, if you take a look here, <laughs> obviously one is much larger than the other. This one is, um, I think only the first few comics and this is all the comics um, in this volume. So, it's confusing because they have the exact same cover. Um, I have this one mostly just because um, it is signed here, you can see. Um, and so that's just kind of like a collector thing that I have. Um, and I actually bought this before I bought this. So um, be careful when you are ordering these comics. Um, if you're ordering them on Amazon, you can usually scroll down into like the description and you can see how many pages it, it is. Um, and so if it's, you know, if it looks like it's something like this small, then you're probably not going to want to get that unless you already have all the other ones um, that come after this one. Um, but make sure, I think if it says the Ultimate Edition, I think it's going to be this big fat volume right here. So just a side note, be careful when ordering because you might end up with something little like this or you might end up with the whole, the whole thing too. So I think price and page count are going to be your indicators as well as the word Ultimate Edition um, are going to be what's going to tell you which one to buy. So again, yeah, the, the Ultimate Edition of the comics are available for a relatively inexpensive price, as well as the ebook for Year of the Black Rainbow. Um, but then if you, you know, you don't want to spend a ton of money trying to track down those limited edition books I was talking about. I also do, uh, I've done all the videos covering the storylines for all of the albums that have been released so far. So um, check that out at the end of the video if you haven't already, and um, that'll just fill you in on all the storyline stuff going on. So don't forget to go down to the link in the description and join my Metalhead community uh, where you can get a hold of bonus content, um, other concept albums explained, and also uh, monthly newsletters from me. Um, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already to get notified when I put up further content such as this. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching Freaks and um, yeah, until next time.